Thank you for purchasing a Juki sewing machine. This computerized household sewing machine incorporates Juki's industrial sewing machine technology to produce superior stitch quality and sewing performance. We assure that this machine will satisfy even those users aspiring to produce works of the finest quality. We hope this DVD will be helpful for you to enjoy your sewing. To ensure safety, always turn off the power switch and unplug the power cord from its electrical outlet in these situations. While sewing, keep an eye on the needle and keep hands away from all the moving parts. To use the foot controller, insert the plug of the cord securely into the controller plug socket located in the right side of the sewing machine. The machine receptacle for the power cord is located in the right side of the sewing machine next to the controller plug socket. Turn on the power switch. Set the power switch to I. The sewing machine can be stopped and started by using the foot controller. The machine begins operating when the foot controller is pressed and stops when the controller is released. The color of the start-stop button indicates the status of the machine. Green indicates that the machine is ready to sew or currently sewing. Red indicates that the machine is not ready to start. While pressing the reverse switch button, machine sews reverse or lock stitch, and the machine will stop when the button is released. After sewing, press thread trimming button to trim both the needle and the bobbing threads, and the needle stops at upper position. Thread trimming function is also built in this foot controller. You can trim threads by stepping on the heel side of the foot controller, the needle position will change by pressing the needle up-down button while the machine is stopped. When the needle is in up position, the needle moves down, and when the needle is in down position, the needle moves up. While sewing, the speed can be adjusted by sliding the speed controller. Slide the speed controller to the right to sew faster, and to the left to sew slower. When you turn on the machine, the LCD screen indicates number 1, straight stitch of the center needle position. Use the pattern selection buttons below the screen to select a pattern. The screen shows the number of the stitch pattern and the marking of the presser foot to be used. Choose a pattern selection mode by pressing one of the pattern selection mode switching buttons. With Direct Select, you can select among 10 of the most commonly used patterns, while Select by Number allows you to select other patterns by number. One Point Patterns Letters allows you to choose a combination of patterns. When you choose your desired stitch pattern, the machine automatically displays the standard stitch width and stitch length. To adjust these settings manually, Use the zigzag width and stitch length adjusting buttons located below the screen. When you stop the sewing operation, the needle generally stops in down position. However, you can change this position by pressing the needle stop position switching button. As you can see, the accessory parts are neatly stored in the auxiliary bed. For free arm sewing, remove the auxiliary bed. For free motion sewing or attaching a button, remove the auxiliary bed and move the drop feed knob to the right side to lower the feed dog. Turn the power switch off before replacing the presser foot. Raise the presser foot. Press the presser foot releasing button to remove the presser foot. To attach the new presser foot, align the pin on the presser foot and the groove on the presser foot holder. 
Carefully lower the presser foot holder with the presser foot lifting lever. In case the thread tension is not correctly set, adjust the tension by using the thread tension adjustment dial which is located under the cover on the top of the machine. You can adjust the presser foot pressure according to the thickness and type of fabric to be used. Turn the presser foot pressure adjustment dial located inside the top cover. For normal sewing, set the presser foot pressure adjustment to 5. When sewing lightweight synthetic fabrics, stretchy fabrics, or appliques, which fabrics may shift during sewing, set the presser foot pressure adjustment dial to a smaller number to reduce pressure. Always turn the power switch off before replacing the needle. Use a regular household sewing machine needle. Turn the hand wheel towards you until the needle comes to the highest position and lower the presser foot. Loosen the needle set screw with T-shaped screwdriver supplied as a standard accessory part. Then, remove the needle. Hold the needle with its flat part facing away from you and insert it fully until it touches the stopper pin. Then, securely tighten the needle set screw. Pull the hook cover release button towards you to remove the hook cover. Then take out the bobbin. Place the thread spool to the spool pin and attach the spool cap. The spool cap can be reversed to match the size of the thread spool. Pull some thread from the spool and thread it to the thread guides marked 1 and 2. Then thread it to the thread guide number 3. Thread the thread firmly into the thread guide. Set the bobbin on the bobbin winding shaft. Wind the thread to bobbing 4-5 times in clockwise direction. Put the thread end into the guide at the bobbin winding shaft and pull it to the right side to cut it. Push the bobbin winding regulator toward the bobbin to start winding the bobbin. To stop winding the bobbin pathway, push the bobbin winding regulator to the right. The machine will stop automatically after the winding and the bobbin winding regulator will move back to its original position. Remove the bobbin from the shaft and cut the thread by cutter. Place the bobbin inside the bobbin case holder. Before putting the bobbin in place, make sure that the thread winds counterclockwise. Thread groove 1 and along guides 2 and 3. Cut the thread with the built-in cutter. Finally, close the hook cover. Bobbin setting is complete now. You can begin sewing without pulling up the bobbin thread. Always turn the power switch off before threading the needle. Raise the presser foot. Raise the needle to its highest position by aligning the marking at the hand wheel with the one on the machine body. Hold the end of the thread and pass it through guides 1 through 5 following the arrows. When you come to the guide 6 on the needle bar, pass the thread from the right side. You can now thread the needle. Lower the presser foot and pull the thread up to 7. Cut the thread at 8 and lower the threading lever 9 until it comes to a complete stop. Release the threading lever to thread the needle, then pull the end of the thread backward.
Use the standard presto foot A for straight stitch. Turn the hand wheel towards you to lower the needle to a starting position. Lower the presser foot and step on the foot controller to begin sewing. When you finish sewing, step on the heel side of foot controller to trim the threads. Raise the presser foot and remove the fabric. Once the thread is automatically trimmed, you can start sewing again without pulling up the bobbing thread. To begin sewing the edge of thick fabrics, first lower the needle to a starting position. Press the black button located on the left side of the standard presser foot. Then, lower the presser foot. Once the presser foot is lowered, remove your finger from the button and begin sewing. To change the sewing direction, stop the machine just before the point where you want to change direction. Use the needle up-down button to continue sewing slowly until you reach the exact point where you want to change direction. When you get to the point you want, lift the presser foot with the needle left in the fabric. Change your sewing direction, then lower the presser foot again and start the machine. When you want to sew reverse stitches, press the reverse stitch button at the desired point. The machine will only sew a reverse stitch while the reverse stitch button is being pressed. The machine can automatically sew lock stitches at the beginning and end of sewing and then trim the threads. We'll use a straight stitch as an example. Press the automatic lock switch and thread trimming button. The automatic lock stitch and thread trimming icon will appear on the screen. Press the button again and it will disable the automatic lock stitch feature. Once you have selected automatic lock stitch and thread trimming function, position your fabric at the point where you want to sew, then start. The machine will sew a few reverse stitches before starting to sew. Let your foot off from the foot controller to stop sewing part way. When you are finished sewing completely, press the reverse stitch button. The machine will sew a few reverse stitches, trim the thread, and then stop automatically. You can change the needle position of straight stitch by using the Stitch Width Adjusting button located below the LCD screen. Pushing minus, the needle moves to the left. Pushing plus, the needle to the right. You can also change the length of the stitch by using the Stitch Length Adjusting buttons under the screen. Pushing minus for a shorter stitch and pushing plus for a longer stitch. The overcasting stitch is used to prevent fabric edges from fraying. There are three kinds of overcasting stitches available. Select the pattern that suits the fabric you are working with. We'll use the direct select pattern number seven Overcasting stitch as an example. Use overcasting presser foot C for this stitch. Position the edge of the fabric so that it aligns with the guide and lower the presser foot. Start the machine. Sew slowly, making sure the edge of the fabric stays in line with the guide. The machine comes with 16 patterns that can be used for buttonhole. Select your desired buttonhole. Use buttonhole presser foot E for this stitch. Pull out the button holder on the presser foot. Place the button on the button holder and push the holder back in until the holder stops against the button. This step sets a suitable buttonhole size. 
Pass the needle thread down through the hole in the presser foot and pull it out sideways once the machine is set. Insert the buttonhole sensor pin into sensor pinhole at the left side of the machine body. Make sure that the sensor pin is pushed in as far as possible. We'll use the standard buttonhole pattern as an example. Place the fabric under the presser foot and lower the needle to the sewing start point. Lower the presser foot and begin sewing. Sewing buttonholes on thin fabrics or near overlap sections can be easier when the clamping plate is used. After passing the thread through the buttonhole presser foot E, set the clamping plate as shown in the drawing and attach the assembly to the presser foot holder. Sewing is performed as usual by inserting the fabric between the presser foot and clamping plate. To remove the clamping plate, hold the portion A, when the buttonhole stitch is finished, the machine will sew lock stitch and stop automatically. Once the machine stops, push thread trimming button to trim the threads. Use the ripper tool to open the buttonhole. Using the stopper pin as shown will prevent you from cutting the stitches. The buttonhole is complete now. The buttonhole width can be adjusted and you can choose one out of three settings. To adjust the width, select the option Changing the seam width of buttonhole. For smaller buttonhole width, select the icon indicating a narrower width and press OK. The width is now